Although the motive behind the shooting is still under investigation, voters are paying close attention. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on how this could Im impact mid-state voters. Nikki? This seems extreme to us, and it is extreme. The attempted assassination of a presidential candidate is extreme, but it's not unheard of. America is not now, nor has it ever been immune to political violence. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump has shocked Tennesseans and the rest of the country. But MTSU history professor Andrew Polk says these attempts are less rare than we think. I think there have been eight presidents, sitting presidents, that have had um, explicit attempted assassinations in the 20th century alone. Polk recalls the 1981 assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan and in 2005 when a hand grenade was thrown at George W. Bush in the country of Georgia. However, this weekend's attack comes at a time of particular political divide. This election is uh, means the the end of human civilization, right? If someone doesn't win, or if you are against us and our policies, you hate America and want to destroy it. Uh, when that's the heightened rhetoric, and then it turns to violence, uh, my concern is that uh, there will be reactions and re-reactions, and this will continue. Polk doesn't think Saturday's attack will necessarily change anyone's mind in the upcoming election, but there are Tennesseans it could influence. Uh, the question is for independence of what this means for people um, who are, if there are those people, undecided in this election. And despite now being directly confronted by gun violence, Polk doesn't see Trump or his supporters shifting their stance on weapons. Former President Trump's base is defending the Second Amendment at all costs. I don't see that shifting dramatically. We know this in Tennessee after a horrific school shooting here. Uh, there was a special session of the legislature uh, called by the Republican governor, and essentially all of those movements went away within a year. Whichever way the election goes, Polk questions if a peaceful transfer of power in 2024 is possible. However, he hopes voters will remember human decency. So as long as we can remember that human beings are human beings, right, they're not fools or Nazis or terrorists because they disagree with me. They're people who are raising their kids and trying to do the best they can in life. That's the reality that we live in. Uh, I think if we can remember that, we'll be okay. Uh, but the remembering it uh, seems to be a challenge. Now, in just under two weeks, Donald Trump is set to speak at a Bitcoin conference here in Nashville. Today, event organizers say he will still be there, and organizers are working closely with their security teams to ensure everyone's safety. Kenley. Thank you so much, Nikki. History is unfolding as we speak. Don't miss the latest information. Download our news app and stay with us online.